I think most creatives would have a bottom drawer full of ideas that would play out in a digital at home experience. And I think these days clients find that uh, you know difficult to translate you know a, a reasonable investment to a kind of a small small kind of exposure. Where digital at home gets really kind of exciting in the future will be its ability to connect to other digital devices. And I think that's probably where um, digital at home will be able to move further forward when it can offer kind of a more personal experience. I guess probably digital at home at the moment isn't considered uh, you know, a one-to-one -one communication, it is a mass communication, so I, I don't think it's been considered in that way. Um, but it's also not a particularly disruptive medium, they're everywhere, so we're quite in tune to ignoring them. And that's why I think mobile becomes really kind of important for playing that kind of bridge to that communication. It's really the goal here is to get people talking about the brand, the idea, and, and, and playing with it and touching it. And then you're starting to get conversation and natural sharing, um, and that will always help with a, a should we say, more creative technology-led idea. And I don't think the technology has to be new, it's just the way that technology is applied. It's the idea that connects it to people, and, that, and that's why that we get the great response. Having done creative, digital creativity for, for 20 years, actually knowing how stuff works is a little bit of a disadvantage. So as the world's got more complicated, I think, I think that's better because sometimes through the creative process it's better not to know what the limitations are and just worry about the idea first and then work with you know, smart creative technologists, developers, you know, media partners, whatever, to work out the best way that that idea can be delivered. So sometimes ignorance is healthy, I think. If I was to think about the kind of technologies that I'd, I'd like to see, you know, the ability to connect to multiple devices, so to pick up a conversation from, from one device to another, you're seeing that between mobile and tablet and for those people who still have computers. And I think that's, people are going to instinctively expect that. And I guess as, as ad platforms get more sophisticated you know, on devices, they're going to expect it in out of home as well. Technology is an enabler. People don't talk about the technology behind it, unless of course it fails. But it's the emotional experience that that kind of delivers. So I think the idea will always be the most important thing. Technology will always kind of I guess out, outpace us in terms of its advancement, but in terms of getting mass appeal and people using it, utilising it in different ways, that always takes a lot longer.